Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Vroid Studio 1.7.0 3D avatar into Blender 3.1 with the facial shape keys. <coughs> so start from now, I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. First, you can just scroll down, go to my video description, and then go and download the tools that I provided here to save your time. So remember, your objective is to import the Vero Studio 1.7 the <coughs> avatar to Blender 3.1. So first, you have to download these three things. These are my tools. Get the Vero Studio first. <coughs> And then go and download the Blender 2.9.0 with the VRM importer. This one is a zip folder that provided by me. <coughs> and all of these are the Google Drive link. <coughs> Alright, once you already have download these three, this one, two, three, then <coughs> you can go and download the Vero Studio and install in your computer. Now I'm going to open the Vroid Studio 1.7.0. Now this is a Vroid Studio and as demo I'm going to choose a sample avatar here. Right, this is one of the Vroid sample avatar and you can do a lot of, of the modification here. For example, change the hairstyle, etc. Right, so next I'm going to change an outfit. For example, the school suit. Right, once you feel done already, some more you can modify the body, the head size, etc. There are so many things. Right. Next, I'm going to export it. First, I will, I will just click here, export as VRM. Click export as VRM. Then it is going to pop out a window. Right, you need to wait for a while. Now it, it become a T-pose. And then next what you are going to do is just click exp export. And then here the title. For example, I, I make this I make this character name as girl girl01. And then click export. As demo, I'm going to export it on my desktop as a girl01 VRM. Save. Then now it is processing, it is exporting, exporting as VRM. What we need to do is just wait for a while. And see, now you already have the, the VRM. This is the Vroid Studio. You can just save it first. Right, I click here save as and I will save it on my desktop as the girl01 and save. Now I will save it as a Vroid project file and then the VRM file is the one that we are going to import into Blender. So here I'm going to close it. Alright, scroll down, go to your video description, make sure you get the Blender 2.9, the one that I prepare for you with, with the plugin. So now it is here. I'm going to open the Blender. Right here, what we are going to do is just go and go and install this two plugin for your Blender 
2.9 <coughs> and this two plug in I already put it as a zip file on my desktop I click edit preferences then add on I click install then choose my desktop first install the cat blenders plugin and make sure after install you take it click install again install the VRM add-on for blender then make sure you search it here the two the first one is the cat the cat's blender plugin make sure you take it next one you search for VRM and make sure you take it to activate it once done already you can back to your blender this is the Blender 2.9 that I provided for you. Select these three things and press the delete button to delete it and press end. You should be able to see the cat's plug in at here. Then you can click import model. Import from the desktop. It is been able to import the VRM file. Now you can see the VRM file already imported. Next, click the wrench and untick everything, just left the fixed material. Then click OK, click Fix Model. Right, now you can see this avatar already done. Alright, so what we are going to do is just export it as FDX first. Click. So, you have to click Export here. Make sure you select everything first. Click here, continue to export. It is going to export as FBX file. Is there more? I will just export it on my desktop. The FBX file, the path mode, you have to choose copy and make sure here it is highlighted. Then the file name, I will just name it as girl01. It is an FBX file. I click export FBX file. It is here already. Right, next. Always remember our objective in this tutorial, we are going to import the Vero Studio 1.7.0 into Blender 3.1. Then where is the Blender 3.1? Scroll down, go to my video description, download the Blender, the latest Blender versions from this link. Then you can get the Blender 3.1. <coughs> Once you already install, you open the Blender 3.1. Alright, this is the one. <coughs> now, next, you are going to delete these three items and then try to import the FBX file. Click File, Import, FBX. From the desktop, it is here. Import the FBX file. And then click here to turn on to turn on all the texture. You should be able to loading. Now you can see it already loads, but then the texture cannot show properly. So most probably we don't want to use this FBX file. Just press delete button to delete it. From the blender just now, you can just copy everything, control C to copy. Then Back to your Blender 3.1 and use Ctrl V to paste here. Now everything will be better. Now you can see by using the, the Ctrl C to copy and paste the whole Vero avatar already here. Right. So what can you do to manipulate the facial expressions? So you can just come to here to see the shape key. Right, all the shape key is at here. Now, if you want to create some animation, most probably you, you can just just adjust the shape key. You can see the facial as facial expressions will change. Now, you can create the animations by manipulating the keyframe of the timeline and also manipulate manipulate all the shape key here. Then you, you can create the animation. And then you can see this 
this is the skeleton. If you click click the, the skeleton, then go to the the post mode. Then actually you, you can manipulate manipulate the skeleton. Right. To create the animation, you just need, need to, to use all, all these features, right? The post mode and also, also the object mode with the facial shape key here. Right, it is it here. Okay, that's all for today about how to import the Heroes Studio 1.7.0, how to create a new avatar, a manga avatar, a cartoon avatar at Heroes Studio 1.7.0 and import into Blender 3.1 with its facial shape key and full skeleton of the avatar. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you view all these tutorials are very helpful to 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when it's time I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing! See you!